आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. Talk of freedom movement is never complete without the mention of Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev, the three legendary freedom fighters who made the supreme sacrifice to break free from the shackles of slavery. The entire nation plunged into gloom on the early morning of 23rd March 1931 when these iconic freedom fighters were hanged in the Lahore jail Today we bring you the story of Shivram Hari Rajguru who was born on 24th August in 1908 in a Pune village called Kheed to Parvati Devi and Hari Narayan Rajguru his birthplace of Kheed was renamed as Rajguru Nagar in his honor he joined Seva Dal at a young age he was a member of the Hindustan Socialist Republican Association founded by Ram Prasad Bismil and Sachindra Sanyal and others In today's episode we also talk about a renowned freedom fighter social reformer educationist and journalist K Kelappan Nair who is also known as Kerala Gandhi this day marks his 132nd birth anniversary he was born on this day in 1889 in Calicut Kerala K Kelappan was one of the main leaders who joined the non cooperation movement playing a very dominant role in the Malabar region He courted arrest on several occasions. In 1930, he led the Salt Satyagraha and marched to Payanur Beach and made salt. On the one hand, K. Kelappan fought for social reforms, and on the other, against the British. Besides, he also fought relentlessly against untouchability and caste-based discrimination. K Kelappan played a crucial role in the unification of the state of Kerala. He was elected to parliament in 1952. At the end of his term he left active politics and became a sarvodaya worker and was actively associated with the Bhudan movement in Kerala. He was also the president of many Gandhian organizations in the state. On this day legendary freedom fighter Bina Das was born in 1911. in Krishna Nagar of the Bengal province she is among the many women who were at the forefront of the freedom movement in Bengal Bina Das gained prominence at the age of 21 when she opened fire on the governor of Bengal Stanley Jackson in the convocation hall of Calcutta University Bina Das fired 5 bullets at Jackson from a close range Das served 9 years of hard labor for a act which stemmed from a deep desire to see a homeland free from british occupation she was an active member of chhatri sang a women student society that worked for india's freedom struggle today is also the birth anniversary of nitur shrinivas rao a gandhian who participated in the independence movement 
He served as the Chief Justice of the High Court of Mysore State. In the 1930s and 1940s, he participated in the Indian independence movement. He worked for the Mysore State Unit of the Congress and actively participated in the civil disobedience movement. During the Quit India Movement of 1942, he provided shelter to freedom fighters. When Mahatma Gandhi visited Bangalore in 1927, Srinivas Rao took permission from him to translate his autobiography. He named the translation as Satya Shodhan. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in next episode tomorrow.